Hello there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. And I'm John Humphrey. We're gonna watch today, Jason Momoa made a huge mistake while filming Aquaman from my favorite talk show, The Graham Norton Show. Let's face it, he's the best there is in the business, people. I'm actually coming back from the John Campia show, and on my way to there, I was listening to some Graham Norton interviews because, hey, you know, he's getting that warm-up interview vibe, even though I wasn't being interviewed. Before we go into this, I wanted to give a patron of the day shout-out at the top of this video to a man named Scuba Steve. Scuba Steve has been a longtime follower of our channel, and he's been a longtime loyal patron eject as well. And as you guys can see here, he does this awesome graffiti artwork work. Both John and I follow him on Instagram, and I really hope you guys can follow him too. I want him to keep on keeping on with the art, and so please show him some support. Give him a follow, comment, tell him the real reject sent you. He'll reply back to you. Thanks, guys. Anyway, we're going to watch Aquaman on, well, I'm going to watch Aquaman on Saturday. John's going out of town for a few days because he's a dick. Because I want to avoid it at all costs. Yeah. So I've like, got to get out of town for Aquaman because I hate <laughs> DC. I hate him. That'll, that'll be great for the comments. <laughs> that's, that's actual Iceland. That's, that's Iceland. That's, yeah. that's cold. That yeah, yeah, that was cold. No, <laughs> it, it doesn't look like it, but it was, it was cold. No, you do look very relaxed. Uh -huh. But, and, but uh, apparently you were wearing, were you wearing a thermally thing? Yeah, you know, because I was out there for a while, so they have like a very thin wetsuit that you put on, so you don't freeze to death. Well, that's good. Yes. Yeah. They had a nice crane shot. They went out there in front of me, and I was walking out. But you know, if you have a wetsuit on, the air gets kind of trapped in there, and you're just walking out, and bubbles start coming up. And right when it gets to the level where it's at, all these bubbles come out. <laughs> you know? The camera's right there, and I'm like, I start giggling because of the because of the. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Some of these tattoos are real. So, well, yeah, it was uh, Zach had the idea he wanted to put my tattoos on my family, like my family crest, and uh, he wanted to you know, put it everywhere. Oh, okay. So these are just one of the... Oh, that's cool. They, yeah. They're, uh, they're like stickers. That, that Zack Snyder. About an hour and a half makeup in the morning just to put them all on. There's like 20 odd pieces that they have to put on. And it takes about... It takes a long time to get them off. They were the same in sense and sense. Ha 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 he looks so old now. Yeah, he's getting up there. So there's a new, you've already finished the standard of Aquaman. Yeah, we just, two weeks ago, I just finished off. Oh, that was an old yeah. interview. Yeah. yeah. So that's it, Australia. Uh, here you all are. Savage. Savage. Your family. I mean, not all of them. Just, I think the ones at the front of your family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's Wolf and Lola. And but no, because you live on a, you live on a, is it a ranch or? Yeah, yeah, we got uh, around five acres, five, six acres up in, uh, in, the, in, in California and, Bunch of animals and yeah. Nice. We, we, it's kind of nice about you because there's no service, so we don't have. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of TV, so we don't get to see much. But they just they got to see a movie lately, which was phenomenal because I, I I've never been able to show my kid. They've never seen Wizard of Oz, so I was a little worried like coming into it to show them Justice League, and uh, <laughs> but it was it was amazing because hey, my kids can't watch anything that I'm in. I mean, my grandmother can't watch it. I mean, my family, I mean, you know, I'm like, don't watch that one. You're, you're going to want to skip that one. Eventually, I'll be able to do something watch it. It was really amazing to be able to watch. But at least they could, if they wanted to. I mean, if they, if they might want to. Aww. <laughs> you. They're sitting there watching dino trucks. I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Than that. I yeah. shove it in the DVD and there's tears and tantrums. <laughs> 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 
Wow, you know, I, I don't think I've ever really paid attention to any Jason Momoa interviews. He seems like the nicest guy in the whole planet. He seems like he's having just a complete blast. I yeah. mean, his, even his mannerisms are different than I would have expected. I mean, yeah, he's it's just, kind like, of hopping like, around. kind of like, like this, like, shy, like, yeah. egg, happy to be here kind of guy. And uh, he just seems like a really sincere dude. He seems like the total antithesis to a typical <laughs> Hollywood personality. And most of his characters he's played on screen. <laughs> yeah, over this, like, very cocky confident guys or and just silent menacing dudes yeah. <laughs> i mean with seeing him here I'm like okay i can see why with the look he gets typecast a certain way it actually makes it even cooler to see uh, how i mean we haven't seen aquaman yet and a lot of people have but to see that in aquaman he really gets to let his personality like more of his real personality shine through which he did in justice league but even more so in aquaman oh like oh, that's that's really cool that he gets to let that side of him really be revealed to the world. Because, yeah. it, you know, I see a lot of these Graham Norton show interviews, and what was kind of taking me aback here was how he was so interactive with the people on the couch. Graham Norton's asking him the questions, but he's looking directly at, like, the lady next to him. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, Hugh yeah. Grant as well. Like, he's really involved with that conversation with them. That seems, like, very humble about him. <laughs> I wonder if he's still yeah, like that. He's very I didn't personable. Know, I didn't know this interview's old. Uh, so <laughs> there was something pretty cool to see. Very personable side of Jason Momoa. Yeah, man. Well, and I thought it was cool, too, then they touched on his tattoo and the idea that they sort of built that into the character and kind of took that. And like, I always associate Aquaman as being a blonde white guy. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, from the trailers and from that little snippet of information, I just think it's cool that they're bringing that cultural aspect a little further into the movie. I saw just recently they had the premiere and he did like a haka on the carpet and stuff like that. Yeah, really honoring his roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know, he just, yeah, like, I, like you said, he just seems like a totally fun, cuddly guy which i was totally taken aback by <laughs> just makes you want to hang out with him you know because my brother uh went to australia they took like a certain group of people to brought them to australia for uh, to be on the aquaman set and i think he's like has a vlog coming out for that i don't know if he got any of this on camera but he said out of anyone over there on the set that spent the most time with them and it was just very interactive and personable was jason momoa oh that's cool like the star of the movie was just like legit just kicking it with them and just talking and more than just high energy personality guy like he's just a really chill relaxed guy <laughs> and, that's awesome uh, oh man i want to be him well just grow your hair out i just want to be this guy look at it man he's just, just keep, so cool keep working out you know keep growing your hair keep growing your yeah. beard and pretty soon all you'll need is a tribal tattoo from your filipino roots <laughs> and uh, you'll be jason momoa too i guess my other takeaway is hugh grant's very old now yeah he i feel like colin firth in the older age is winning now because it used to be <laughs> that like colin firth was a bit stuffier than hugh grant hugh grant was like young and charming yeah. and now that they're both aging i feel like like Colin first kind of edging him out. Not not to disrespect you, Grant. I think he's still sharp. You know, he made me laugh in this interview. But yeah, this is the first time I was like, oh shit, he's getting on. <laughs> you know. Well, I think it's because Colin Firth has always sort of demonstrated some level of range. And managed to break out with, like, he had a pretty hot year with the King's Speech and Kingsman. Yeah. Uh, back to back. Hugh Grant always had that career of, you know, sexy charmingly befuddled leading romantic comedy man yeah. and you can't just age your way through that <laughs> you know? like after a while like if you start looking old you gotta start i know he's like in the paddington movie or something like that okay yeah well because uh, everybody british is in the paddington yeah. movie. Uh, i don't know what he was promoting at this time what i paddington one <laughs> what i hope is that uh hugh grant can make a new chapter in his career basically doing the british version of what liam neeson did yeah so you get like what starts out as a romantic comedy then becomes a revenge thriller and then we've got the the hugh grant <laughs> revenge movie genre and with like the very brief little bit of knowledge about jason moa it kind of makes sense why he's such a humble guy a he's hawaiian so <laughs> he's obviously got that really chill personality he didn't even like set out to become an actor like he was supposed to he became like a model randomly <laughs> at like 19 years old <laughs> i wonder why uh, yeah <laughs> like 19 and then somehow landed his way into acting so it's usually those kind of guys who remain humble i feel like when you're young and you want to be an actor and you go down that path it's usually when the cockiness kicks in because there's a verification of all your ambitions. Yeah. Like if you just trip and fall into a modeling career and then it starts to blossom, yeah. it's just like, oh, cool, we're up for a ride, I guess. Oh, you know? man. I love this guy. 
I can't wait to see Aquaman. Yeah, I'm excited, man, and he is a big part of it. I mean, his acting has oddly sort of increasingly impressed me over time. You know, mm. Khal Drogo, I was like, all right, sure, but anybody could probably do that, and then I saw... Oddly yeah, enough, we could have. Well, anybody <laughs> big and sexy could do that. <laughs> Joe Manganiello could probably have done that. Then I saw, weirdly, a movie I didn't like, which was called The Bad Batch, but he led the shit out of that movie, and mm. I thought he was really good. So, like, he's he's grown on me a lot beyond just his likability over time so i'm really excited to see him lead aquaman and then when aquaman's a huge success he'll become a cocky asshole and ruin all these things we said about him oh yeah yeah, yeah. break up that family you know start cheating you know <laughs> develop a drug habit all that sort of stuff it's gonna be great all right guys well thanks for tuning in would you lick jason momoa's nipples yes I comment down below you guys can subscribe to the reject nation click that notification bell and check out scuba steve over on his instagram page thank you guys